Hi crew, we're going to do another geometry lesson. Let's look at our learning target. I can use angles I know to measure angles I do not know. So, what are some words you guys already know? We learn about angles so far this week. So, the different kinds of angles. There's acute, obtuse, straight angles, and right angles. Remember, 90 degrees are in a right angle. All right, let's get to it. All right, we're going to watch a video from Pearson. Remember, you could look at this video on Pearson if you want to see this in their format. Our first question is, how can you measure angles? Think about this question during the lesson. First of all, what kind of shape is this? Think about how many sides it has. It has four sides, therefore it's a trapezoid. All right, this is the word problem that we have. Holly traced around a trapezoid pattern block. She wants to find the measure of the angle form that is shown here. What can Holly use to measure the angle? I would say the first step to solving this type of problem is thinking about what type of angle is Holly measuring? And how do you know? So, remember our four angles, straight, obtuse, cute, and right angle. What kind of angle is this? As you can tell, this is an acute angle because it's less than 90 degrees. Now the problem wants us to use an angle you know to find a measure of another angle. We are going to use some pattern blocks to solve this problem. The video states, drag the pattern blocks into the right angle. Use the smaller angles of the pattern blocks to fill the right angle. What can you conclude about the measure of the smaller angle? I would solve this like I would a puzzle. We're going to try to see how we can use these pattern blocks to fit it in the right angle. All right, I'm going to move this trapezoid pattern block right against the up ray. I'm going to move this trapezoid pattern tile right against the right ray. Next, I'm going to move the last trapezoid to be at the end point where the two rays are connected. As you can see, these three same acute angles put together equals 90 degrees. Therefore, to find the angle of one acute angle, you will have to do 90 divided by 3. All right, let's do some review on dividing. Th 9 divided by 3 is 3. 3 times 3 is 9. Subtract equals 0. Now we bring down the 0. 3 goes into 0. How many times? 0. So 0 times 3, 0. Subtract equals 0. So 90 divided by 3 is 30. Therefore, the acute angle is 30 degrees. Now remember, a 30 degree angle turns through 30 1 degree angles. This girl says that a measure of a unit angle is 1 degree. All right, going back to our original problem, we're trying to find this mystery angle. Just how we use these pattern blocks to find the angle of this acute angle by finding how many makes a right angle, we're going to use these to find out how many of these acute angles does it take to make this angle. As you can see, two of these diamond-shaped trapezoids makes one of these acute angles in the red trapezoid. 
Therefore, what is the measure of the red trapezoid angle? All right, it says select your answer. So, I know it's not 15 because I know this angle, acute angle, is 30 degrees. I also know the answer isn't 30 degrees because that's just one of the acute angles. So, to find out what this total angle is, I would need to do 30 times 2 because there's two of them. And we know 30 times 2 equals 60. All right, next, we are going to solve these four problems. This is similar to what you would see in your book. So remember, you could see this also online in Pearson. So I recommend you to go through Pearson Online, explore the different tools you can use to learn other than just what is assigned. All right, let's get to it. Number one, how many 30 degree angles are in a 180 degree angle? Explain. All right, pause this video and think. How would you solve this problem? All right, I'm gonna give you a hint. We're either gonna use addition, subtraction, division, or multiplication. How can we solve this problem? All right, so we're gonna use division because we need to see how many 30 degrees make up a 180 degree angle. All right, so 180 divided by 30. At first you might be overwhelmed because they're pretty big numbers, but a trick I do is take off the zeros to help me solve that problem. So, three goes into 18, how many times? Well, you know three times five is 15. Therefore, three times six equals 18. So, there's no remainder. So from this, we know actually that my cap is well, but we're gonna keep on going. Six times 30 equals 180. Now, how do we know this? We know six times three equals 18. It would just be the same thing because you're multiplying a group of 10. So 18 times 10 is 180. So let's go back to our problem. All right, so we just solved number one, that there is six uh, 30 degree angles in 180 degrees. So now let's go to number two. All right, number two, it says, how many 15 degree angles are in a 180 degree angle? Use the answer to exercise one to explain. All right, pause and think about this. All right, looking back at number one, where we said six of the 30 degree angles make up 180 degrees, how many 15 degree angles make up 180 degrees? What is the relationship between 30 and 15? All right, so 15 degree angles is half of a 30 degree angle. So thinking about that, would it take more 15 degree angles to make 180? Or does it take more 30 degree angles to make 180? It would take more 15 degree angles to make 180. Actually, twice as many. Because remember, two 15 degree angles equals a 30 degree angle. So the last problem, we found out that it was six of these angles make up 180. Therefore, we have to multiply by two and then we'll get 12 of 15 degree angles would make up 180. For the last two problems, number three and number four, we're gonna use our knowledge about right angles to find how big these angles are. For number three, we see that the angle shown is half of a right angle. Remember, a right angle is 90 degrees. So half of 90 degrees 
is 45. Therefore, this angle is 45 degrees. To find half of 90, we divide 90 by 2, and that's how we can get 45 also. All right, so for number 4, we see a what kind of angle? An obtuse angle, and it's made up of a right angle, which is how many degrees? 90, and then half of a right angle. You could see that's half of a right angle because it goes through directly through the box in the corners. So, in the last problem, we found out what half of a right angle is, which was 45 degrees. So this is 45 degrees. And since this is a 90 degree angle, we do 45 plus 90 to get our answer. As you can see behind me, the answer is 135 degrees. Now it's time for y'all to do your work. So do Pearson 15.3 and make sure you get your eye ready done, study island, and get on it. See y'all tomorrow.